What's going on here? Oh. <laughs> well, it, it was two instant headshots, but Ardis's gun does a uh, slightly more damage at that range, so he's going to be the one to get away with that. I'm excited to see his jet. It has been a while since we've seen him play at the top level on this agent, so hopefully it's still going to be the same as old because he was definitely one of the, at least in the early days of like the beta and moving into that, what, Fish123 roster, he was one of the best players in the world. Yep, absolutely. And we obviously saw over time less and less of him, less and less of the, the team. And then we get to uh, check back in. Create those, or well, I guess not create the new heroes, but look at the old ones. That's a Nano Swarm flying out from long. A lot of information going towards big on this. They know that there's players on A long. They know that an execute was set up, but then they hear steps back. They notice nothing towards A. No more utility, and they're going to start to rotate right away uh, leaving the stars a little later just to almost try and call in that bait that was going in onto the other side of the map and they will actually know that at least for now there is no one within the site zipan's gonna catch the pushing from twiston as well however the spike has been dropped out in the open this gives a little bit of an opportunity for big to fight this one back the swing from god b he's still just going ham it's left onto him once again in the clutch six here towards a long yeah, the goal, as always, is going to be to try and farm up as many ultimate points as he can. And while he's taken down the hero from the last round, I wonder what gun Gobby actually had there. I didn't catch it, but considering he was the person who got the majority of the kills, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it was a rifle. That was the only rifle they had. So Aslan is going to quickly try and retrieve that one. Does still have his dash available. And actually, they're going to go battling and brawling versus what is now just pistols. Yep, nade left, stun right, conscious oh, of a second dude. player, well done by Aslan, the flash blocks any follow-up, sorry, the cloudburst blocks any follow-up from the flash, and they get out of there, very nicely handled, big, are back to the site, and they've got a very nice chance to close this out, considering how the opening duel went, still though, have to be worried about Artis's weapon, it's made its way into Xiao's hands now, it's looking down on long, but it needs a headshot, that's the thing, with 150 health on Aslan, perfected health, you're going to have to hit that shot right away. Five and well, with Zipman stuck in the corner, he was dead for sure. This round uh, was about to be neatly tidied up. <laughs> what? My Classic doesn't be online. And now they're going to invest back into another rifle just to make sure that they bolster up this by at least a little bit. But again, within seconds, there is a player over on that big side, which has hit the deck. Yeah, garage push really not working out for them, and that's Killjoy Utility taken out of the round. C Long is now effectively open, and FBX gain a lot more pressure without doing anything really, except holding in that early default. And although Aslan gets the first, he is caught right after. So even that won't help Big out all too much, and it costs them quite a lot with that rifle now down on a long. Oh, they're gonna get it back though. Gun. <laughs> Just thrown it across so that he could try and sneak his way through. I, I, I like the idea, but I don't know if he's thrown it as far as he might have hoped. Luckily, there's not going to be anyone watching that cross, and I guess that was what was being assumed by Gobi that that's oh! less likely to be the angle they check. It is cursed so far with players just going into their utility the second someone's about to round the corner. Freebie coming up for FPX, and while now Gobi, I feel like a lot of this comes down to him again. And that could have changed the round entirely if Casp didn't turn around. And of course, as I said, with Killjoy going down early, you lose the long control. It's effectively wide open. So you have to keep turning back to check it. Those stars had to go down eventually just to try to contain them a little bit on the smoke. But the timing, I mean... But especially when you have such a heavy utility setup over on C, it could. Need that back. Same shock dart every round. So far, we haven't seen FPX run through it or run into it at all. They're holding a super passive default. And do you blame them? They've been pushed consistently at the start of rounds. This is the, the right call. But now with the rifles, big don't want to take that much of a risk. Aslan has the dash to get out of here. He doesn't even need it. Is the smoke going to give them something away? No, in fact, it's going to be the Hunter's Fury. And that's tagged a multitude of players, at least, or at least it seemed it would. Mm, How's he like managed it. to shoot that in between, like, all of them? I think it just hit Xiao once. That's almost impressive. There was the whole team there. Yep. Everybody managed to avoid it. 
And the player that had been tagged by the drone was safely away by the, I think, second pulse. Fragment's going to stop the push here. Good delay by Big, but there's 40 seconds left. Plenty of time for FPX, but it's about getting these players ready to push back out. Flash from Twist and doesn't have anybody pushing with it. And now he's on the side alone, but getting away with it. He'll barely make it around the corner. Getting tagged by a bullet on his way, but he swings back into heavy traffic, taking down Artis, keeping the advantages in their favor, but the res can come through. Zipan was being... Reset. There is still going to be a buy coming up for FPX. And more importantly, if Artis gets one kill, they're going to be able to throw over the rifle. Oh, that's oh. that's such a good knife. Good knife. That's got them so much information, but it didn't catch the one player lurking outside. Who was It's tagged. so frustrating. Spike that's Spike. I mean, they, they, they spotted him. They spotted him, but the reaction wasn't there in time. Twistin' doing some good damage. He's stealing with most of these the pistols, spike. and Xiao's going to try his best to refrack here on A. He's actually heard the player running back. He has really good timing on that peak, and God B is caught unaware. But look who's here. By the time he gets the side, Obnox is going to be waiting. Is Xiao going to expect someone to be tucked on short? There were only three players alive when he got that first kill. It's, oh, he spotted him. Good information to play with. Has an idea on the second player, too. Ahead. That reveal clears out the back of the side. But, Angel, but then also yeah, dropping that spike. It, it just threw the round into turmoil. The fact that it was on its own with the rest of the team pushing. Oh, the aggression coming right out of Artis, and he's able to catch Casp, not with the knives, but with the classic, and now, wide swinging on sight for another. Twistin's gone down. Oh, Big have fallen apart. They face pistols and a blade storm. The blade storm doesn't get a kill, but the pistols most certainly do. They get more than just a fair few. The whole team practically on the floor at this point. Aslan and Gobby having to fight back, and it's a scrappy 2v5. In fact, now Aslan needs the ace, and not many people are like Artis. You know, he's a he's a unique individual, but in the best possible way. He walks on water. He, he walks on water in this game. <laughs> I'll say that's the one thing I know about him. <laughs> the other stuff we can't repeat. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of that interview has been redacted. Well, FPX are going to go for a bit of an A hit on this, at least to start things out. Poking in. But they put their stars everywhere. They'll recall those a little bit later on. For big, the information's about to go towards them. Drone out. Only one player spotted, so it's not really reactionable information. Or actionable information. That is, though. Oh, and he's going to dodge big suppressed as well. So we'll keep the knives. Ciao. Okay. Be him forcing off, and actually he's going to try and play within the Nano Swarm. It doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, and we're just hoping that he can turn the tide in his favor. Instead, God b has gone down, and the rest of the team look to execute. Run. Oh, and that's a big problem for them to deal with now. A lockdown from FPX called into effect. A lot of players ready to execute on the back of this. And look left. for a second like we might have had Twist and pushing up into heaven a little deeper. But I, I think maybe if he had a fragment still, he might have tried to stop them pushing out on long. But that wasn't there to play with. And now a flash out of heaven that doesn't connect. The blade oh. storm taken away from Aslan for the next couple of seconds. That's going to cause some major problems now. Delaying this retake that little bit more. Adding precious few extra seconds onto that clock. Twisting does a damn good job of picking the kill up. And then ulting to stop any further execution from coming through. This is big. It's going to get the most value out of you. I think as well, it's just the fact that they have other players on the team. Like Caspi and Obnox that are incredible role players. Like yep. they're so good at actually just filling the gaps for other people to sort of be slightly more aggressive at times. And actually, I guess Aslan has also done that with the different agents that he's been picking up within this team. But yeah, it's it's been a project for Big. And, and that's why I like that they've stuck with this roster for a, a bit of time now and uh, they are reaping the rewards of it. This round from the defense, as many of them, uh, they're looking to take that early control and try and deny the space for FPX who... In most cases, they're more than happy to wait. And for now, well, they got a little bit of information and a little bit scary there for Casper. We've seen FBX's late round executes cause a lot of issues before. They're going to pick up the pace on this and Obnox is shut down. Seasight completely open. Garage, all they have to worry about, but that's both smoked and nano swarmed off. Now, a fragment to secure. 
to be able to get this plant nicely. And I'm not even sure if God B was visible to Artis there. Maybe he followed the arrow. Either way, they've done a lot of damage and pretty much secured this round with very few hiccups. Yeah, looking much cleaner. I, I think they're using their utility well to try and find that information. I think they've also, like, this is something they struggled with on their attacking side of bind as well, was just how much big would poke and prod. I, I think they were expecting maybe a, a slightly more tentative defense where it's like, okay, you're challenged for some map control. Whereas I think, especially in a lot of these early rounds, big have challenged for a lot of map control. Like, we've seen them just wide swing out garage. We've seen them fight all the way down long. So... I feel like FPX have almost adapted to that a little bit, started to realize, okay, if they're going to push this, we can take this. We'll wait for this player to make this move. And eventually it's found them an opening kill in a lot more rounds than we had initially. Right away, going to be zero pointing into garage and looking for control. FPX, <laughs> the turrets ran away. <laughs> It's escaped the spray. But Twiston has not escaped the Hunter's Fury. One returned on the other side, I think. Did I just hear that? Yeah. We're going to have yeah. a fight on back site that leaves Aslan in the dirt. Obnox what? has practically no HP. Need to come back into this site. Whereas running in, like I guess you can use it as almost like a semi-free entry. Well, speaking of semi-free entries, Zip. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Done a good job. That blade is not going to catch Twist in the steps. Will have been heard, though. They knew exactly where he was, and he won't get away with that. He had to run to avoid the blade, obviously. And that's cost him his life. Two versus five. Spike planted. Big having practically nothing. They're not going to use ultimates. Frankly, they're not going to have a chance to use them, really. Artis <laughs> is uh, bringing the fight to them in their own spawn. Yeah, considering how these early rounds went, this is looking like a very different FPX. Getting into gear a little bit on this attacking side, and currently, Xiao's nowhere near his, so... But two rounds left to go as well, right? So we're... Uh... We're not expecting you're going to see that Hunter's Fury coming online anytime soon. Recovering it. Oh, Should here we go. Shall I sing comment? Mitch has just said it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, it looks like you're going to get that lockdown usage. Oh, does it? Does it? Moving towards long now. I, I thought maybe she would be the one uh, pushing into short, but I'll maybe save this again. Looks like they're going for control over the site in a much more traditional way, and they've seized that control... Mm, very, very I, effectively. I think this is a lockdown. Because the the other players fell out of that site very easily. Like, Goppy's just almost trying to whittle away at some of the players. They're spamming utility to try and slow down the plant as much as humanly possible. They're, they were prepared for this. They just wanted to try and see if they could find anything early on. Now, we're actually going to see the Cosmic Divide. I, I quite like this idea. Just try and lock them out of the site, not give them information. And, and there you go. Over the top comes the frag. And that's enough to destroy it. They were ready and prepared for that lineup. And now this becomes very difficult for the defenders to get back in. Obnox, he's still fighting. Looking out from it and catching them off guard. If that was Aslan's Cloudburst, I mean, it, it lost them the round. Oh, that's the skull. Oh, God. <laughs> Nobody what? else peek this guy, please. Play no, you can't do it. Okay, well, they got away with it. And they'll get the res through as well. Gobby's going to try oh, and deny this heavy traffic there. A lot of players staring at him. I cannot use that. Shot darts. Shot darts could actually do a hell of a lot here, but clearing the closer corner. Fragment used to make sure there's nobody up close. But again, it, it's a slowdown from FPX. They found the advantage they were looking for. Don't really need to over aggress in this sort of scenario. Also, with Gobby using his shock darts, a lockdown of their own could be prepared. Very true. Once that suppression is gone, yeah, you see the Sugetsu moves into position, pops down that lockdown. Big are going to hold on here for a moment. Gobby is suppressed, so no shock darts to come through. Nothing that, I mean, he hasn't got any, but he couldn't do anything about it. 30 seconds left. Oh, I think it's I think it's the fragment again. It is, yeah. It, it seems like everybody's just using the fragment at this point as lockdown denial. They will, however, know that there should be at least two players here, but there's only 20 seconds left. They've tried to bait this rotation out. gobby has gone nowhere. He's still just sat in this corner, and Xiao's walking with his knife out. It's free, and now the remaining players can look to try and rotate back in. FPX might have just misplayed this completely. As team that's playing a breach in here as well. 
It seems like Killjoy mains are in the mud at the moment. <laughs> mm, yeah, especially with Chamber coming out in a map like this, you know, you're going to see a lot of people uh, feeling the hurt of these util counters. Oh, they're going to get the information that at least a couple of players are pushing in that direction. And look at the rotation, or at least the early rotation. FPX were definitely thinking of just sprinting this one through, but it seems like the call has been made to go back. And actually, Zipan's going to get one through the wall. Not a bad start, but the rest of the players are still looking to make that push in towards the side. Zipan sticking around will come out with a second. He does well. The other player has fallen back, and they'll be able to play the retake with a man advantage. Now the plan for big with low HP on Aslan and Gob B with player disadvantage as well. It doesn't necessarily put the round into their favor. Gravwell about to make Gob B that little bit easier to kill, but oh. Aslan somehow gets away with a lot. The one kill, Gob B, 14 HP though, won't be doing very much. Oh, Nox, uh, he's wall banging him while running and now... Well, because of that, big are right back in. Absolutely. The door wide open, welcoming them. To this map of Haven, normally quite a close one in terms of score lines. We can see those 6-6 six, six, uh, score lines still end up in an OT. We, in fact, we have only recently. So when you consider the fact the bigger uh, looking likely to equalize at least, it's uh, big smiles on their faces for that Obnox clutch. But FPX, they've left A completely open here, bar the one player. shao has got a fair bit of early information, though. Yep, using the most disgusting sheriff skin in the game. I guess someone had to buy it. I don't think they did. No, I, I think... <laughs> no one had to do that. That was a choice. Now, we got a fragment that has actually landed down on the site. I know. Oh, twist it! He gets caught running through. I, I think he was oh, about to no. die to his own fragment, but FBX are making sure there's no embarrassment for big other than the fact that they might just lose the second round to practically an eco zip and lands another leaving cast ball by himself a big round from this astro main a support player as we call him and both players are peeking together this is going to be tough and he's taking it just didn't feel like it was there sure. on that one now now they're back now they're certainly back <gasps> they both hit headshots that is upsetting. Very, Unless you're very upsetting. In which case, oh, she's ecstatic. There we go again. <laughs> it was a 140, not a 145, right? Oh, no, it was a 145. Sorry. No, it was a 145. What do you mean? I, thought it was a, I don't know why I thought it was a phantom. Oh, God. They are going to get a plant. Extra credits at least. Rifle also got B. Yeah, that's, he bought that this round, right? He played the hero rifle, which, I mean, it's got me playing the hero rifle. It's a point of its own, but he's been dropped. Now the chances go down so much more. We need these pistols to show up, zip back, making quick work of it. That flash was perfect, and the defuse should be easily found. Obnox not really having the right weapon for spamming through. Sure, it has the board. Very good, but now he gets defensive side operator, and, yeah, well, I'm hopeful. That was disgusting. That, was, that, that hit Twistin as well. He's down to a sliver of health, and Artis is not looking to give up just Ooh, yet, but okay. that might be a mistake. Over-aggression, perhaps. Looks like Sagetsu's at least avoided getting hit by that knife, but he has been spotted. The drone flying overhead. They've got a star down, and well, the stun's come through on both sides. A little bit late from the defense. The kill had already happened. Angel is going to be dealt with as well. They're coming in, funneling one at a time onto the site. FPX weren't winning the duels, but Zipan does manage to drop the spike and make this round a little bit more winnable. With Twiston being low, it might have something. It's going to be tough, though, in this sort of afterplant scenario. I, I think they're going to need Xiao to do quite a bit Sight clear. with his utility. I mean, they fully cleared the site because they put down the knife. Then you've got a recon to guarantee. You've got a fragment for left side. They still have shock darts to play with at least one here. And then they know that the cubby is clear. All they've got to do is play the long angles, but, you know, that, that's the hard part. They were really hoping someone played a little bit more aggressive. Show. This is where things could get a little bit worrying. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think he also took out Ardis. I think so, yes. Yeah. So that, that smoke going down, it's recalled. And the player's been spotted, but so is Ardis. So he has to give up control. 
take flight. I think you're going to start to close in on this A side. Three players currently here. How much information will that drone get? Nothing more than they already knew. A Hunter's Fury will be activated to try and pursue. It gets Artis. Xiao is down. And wow, this is a good push so far. They at least know that Angel's stuck in this corner and should be able to isolate those duels. But with Obnox going down, this becomes very dangerous indeed. They've just allowed Angel to walk out, making it back over to the site and waiting to take this peak on to Caspo, who's dealt with right away. A big blow for FPX with God B left alone. Oh, this man has been clutched so far and already got a triple kill fading away to a long <laughs> where he'll he's actually successfully get a rotate to the C site. I guess he's like, he'll plant any second. Any second. <laughs> the nah, any second. There's no, he's going to plant. I'm not moving. There's no way he's gone all the way around because, you know, why would he do that instantly? He's actually, he's at what he's doing right now is he's gone back to spawn and he's going to come all the way back to A and I don't want to look like a fool. So I'm just going to wait. And in the meantime, Gobby's already planted. Fight planted. As he finally makes his way towards the seaside, you can see Gobby has snuck his way all the way down into the cubby. He's going to run the clock, and that plant is actually really nicely angled for him. A recon to play with, but I mean, there's nothing to block vision for Sagetsu. He's a killjoy, and the alarm bot's already being used. Time to tap that and wait for a peek. The way things are playing out so far, big... They've surprised us in a number of rounds. Let's see what they can do here with a Blade Storm online for Aslan on the attack. The rest of the team having rifles to play with an FBX. Have practically nothing. Pistols and a Spectre. This is one where Big should easily find the victory. You don't want to see them even lose that many players, but FBX have rotated in in the B site. They want to crunch this with the weaker weapons. Angel's already able to pick up a drug triple. Opening. What? Talking about fragging IGLs and Angel on the back of the site, taking Aslan, who's ulted up with a blade storm and winning that duel with a Spectre when he knows that you're there and you don't even know he's there. I mean, there's just so many things that should not have went Angel's way in that one. And it's one of the reasons we love to watch this guy play the game. But God B, the IGL on the other side, has had a very short life in this pistol round for Big. And they've bought what they can, but... They're not getting a whole lot done with it. Oh. Artis is hunting them down. Yeah, Having used his blade storm in the previous round, he almost aces this. Mixed in with everything that Angel has put together. Back on G2, we used to always say about Artis when he's playing the sofa, like, you know, I love this guy, but I would love to see him just off the leash because he's the kind of guy that if he turns his brain off, he just becomes and, and then is like managed by somebody, right? If, he, if you make it so Artis doesn't have to think and he just has to aim, he's one of the best players in the world. Man, this guy's nuts. And we saw it dominating EU for so long back in the day. Sagetsu only able to find the one here. Oh, now dude. under a lot of pressure, the operator only has one shot left and he won't even fire it. Zipman comes to save the day though. A Hunter's Fury landed on the Caspa and Big might just have ran out of luck. Twiston is the last man alive, tucked in on this site. No spike possession. And at this point with 18 HP and being oh, revealed, oh, you're a Sova. It's not like they're doing 100 25. damage, but at the same time. I Try adding of... 10 to that and you might, you might have to... Wait, wait, what did I do? You said 25 is 35. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, a lot of trouble here as big push into the site and just get torn to shreds. And the initial duels, maybe a uh -oh. chance. Twiston, though, is having to be revived. And with Gobby swinging out into the final players, it was a...